to go into a little detail of some of the newest stuff that we have avail available, first I'd like to show you our new hand grip system, which is this really great modular system, once again using the same ball joints that we've seen other places. You have different style grips that you can use. This one's like uh, a rubber style, but we also have this foam cover style grip over here. Um, we have this extension bracket there, and this is really neat because this system allows you to put in 15 millimeter lightweight rods, and it also takes 15 millimeter studio rods as well as 19 millimeter studio rods. So I have all kinds of different choices of what I can do with this um, setup. I don't have to just rely on having just one style of studio. I can use this bracket with any kind of studio setup that I have. So you put the 19 mil rods in here, or I can put 15 mil studio rods through here uh, on these sides or in the inner side, of course, I can do the 15 mil lightweight. So that can go through over here. So I can do one or the other or both, whatever I need to. This really has a lot of different uses. You can use this bracket separately for other uses. Aside for ham grip, you can use it for mounting, let's say, this battery plate on the back of the camera. Or, you know, once again, being modular, you could use even this, this little uh, LBS-1, which is for lightweight brackets support, and you can mount it like that onto there. So this battery plate, slash recorder plate is great because it has so many different mounting points and you know all the different manufacturers of all these kinds of devices have all their own ways of doing it. Now for the codex recorder we have a specific bracket for the larger codex recorder that will help you mount it onto this plate so you can take a look at that too. Now if you already have the UMB1 which you got with your shoulder pad or you bought one separately, guess what? That works perfectly with this too. It has all kinds of mounting points on that as well, so you can use that to the fullest extent. So the great thing is, is the modularity, being able to buy little pieces that work, you know, hinges that work for you correctly, ball joints that work for you correctly, and then if you don't have rosettes already on your camera, you can add a rosette, or if you wanna go from a rosette, to a 3 8 mount, you can put this like on the side of the Alexa where the rosette is, and all of a sudden now you have your 3 8 mount, so then you can put hand grips. Like this directly onto it, or you could put an extension of some sort and add different devices onto it. If you look at even the way we look at uh, using the cage system here, hooked on to MVP3. This is our new mini base plate 3. This is our new style base plates that we're doing that instead of being thinner like they were in the past, they're a lot thicker. And even this one, although it has a riser, basically goes along the whole bottom length of this D800 camera. So I'll give you a really solid connection. There's some choices that you have for doing some registration pins as well for like Canon cameras. So you don't have any movement at all from the camera going back and forth. Uh, we can do a mount like this and then I could add different things to it, but you can see a bare bones, exactly what the cage system looks like, and uh, see how that we can add things to that. Now, we do have some products that are uh, new for this year that we've already been selling. One of those is uh, the MFF2 HD. Now, the difference between an HD version of our mini follow focus or studio follow focus in the cine style is that cine style usually you have a one to two ratio of when I turn this once I get two turns of this uh, gear so that my big barrel lenses spin faster but a lot of times you're using still lenses and ENG lenses you don't want that barrel to move very fast because the marks are very close together so you can use this which is the MFF2 HD where this gear moves in a one to one ratio so a lot lot slower we also have an FF5 HD, so you can see that this line is uh, compatible, you know, the idea is compatible with our studio style and our mini style uh, setups. So the whole idea is all this stuff you can use in any way that you want, but to cut the confusion, you should check out our website because our webpage at airy.com slash PCA will have all these different cameras listed like we talked about the F3, C300, Alexa, Epic Scarlet, um, Canon DSLR, Nikon DSLR. What you can do is you can pick the type of, type of camera that you have and then you go and see that I want to set this up in a studio style setup or a lightweight setup and we'll give you a suggestion of all these parts that you can use to put this kit together and we even have the same exact setups in our brochures. We do the same thing we go ahead and list up all the parts with photographs and descriptions of exactly what they do so you know what you're getting into. Some people already have, let's say, like a mini follow focus, you know, so then all they have to do is get the rest of the parts. Or some people already have a mini map box one so they can see what the other suggestions are for the other things that they need to get to complete their set. And the great thing is we give you a start to finish solution. So don't worry, any camera that you have, we can outfit it for you.
just in case you are looking for a mini follow focus and you really want to get one now, we do have available the MFF-1. The MFF-1 is on a special sale that we started at NAB on the first day of the exhibition uh, floor, which was April 16th. And this special will go on until we run out of these. And we have this on sale at 40% off. So it's a little bit less than $1,500 now for this follow focus that comes with the built-in knob. It's not removable like it is in the MFF-2, but it is a hard stop knob. So it's perfect for ENG lenses and still lenses that go past infinity or past macro. You have the two hard stops that you need to make it work. So come take a look at our booth see that what we have. We're more than happy to show you all our different setups and products. Give us a challenge, show us a camera, and we will outfit it for you. And I hope that uh, this has been informational. And if you have any more questions, remember, airy.com slash PCA. Thank you very much.